I suspect part of this is due to pent-up demand given Aunt Financial was cancelled, but you take a look at the numbers. What is this telling yeah. us about how investors feel about this particular stock? It tells us, just like you said, it's going to be a fast start for fast hands. That's what, of course, Kwai Shou in Chinese means. Uh, Kwai is fast and Shou <laughs> is hands. So they're going to be, you know, basically capitalizing on this pent-up demand, as you said. But also, keep in mind, Kwai Shou is you know, really landed itself in two of the hottest growing sectors in China. Uh, you know, short videos, which its biggest rival, of course, is TikTok or Douyin in the mainland China, and also in live streaming, in particular in gift giving uh, via live streaming. And this has really propelled uh, Kwai Show. And that's why this is a stock that is 1,200 times oversubscribed just on the retail tranche, uh, the most ever. And retail, uh, institutional investors also bidding it up significantly in the gray market. We were seeing this stock up on the Philip uh, over-the-counter uh, market up as much as 181 uh, percent. Other smaller securities uh, platforms like Futu Securities up 200 uh, percent, even more on others. So on the gray market, those bids will likely translate to uh, actual trades later today when it starts. The stock code is 1024HK, listing at 115 Hong Kong dollars a share. But as I just said, we're looking on the Philip Securities OTC uh, board, upwards of 322 ahead of the, the, the trades later this morning. Uh, this is a $5.4 billion IPO and, uh, you know, one of the biggest uh, success stories, internet success stories on the markets in the past decade. And Steve, what can we glean from the user numbers to see whether this company can actually sustain investor interest? <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's interesting because uh, I was happy when TikTok was taken down in Hong Kong, not for anything against TikTok, but my daughter spent far too much time on it, right? She was very upset. Mm -hmm. Now, if she figures out how to start using Kwai Show, I'm in trouble. Because look at these numbers, user numbers, okay? There's 305 million average daily active users in China on the Kwai Show platforms. 86 minutes. That's the average daily time spent per user on the app. 86 minutes is the average. I'll bet you my daughter was three times that on TikTok. Uh, bad parenting on my part. But that all translates to that big number, $6.3 billion uh, in revenue just in the nine months through September. So they're doing something right. They're getting those eyeballs. They're getting stickiness. And they're getting revenue.